we read basically three species of snails here at the region. Already AMO. AMS and the AA. Now, these three snails are what we rare in Nigeria, but some persons also rare the AF. So, basically, these are the four types of snails. That we rare in this part of the world okay but here we concentrate on the AA, AMO and AMS now the difference is this the AMO grows super fast than the others that's their major their major benefit but sometimes when you see some persons talking about the differences and all that. The major difference I have studied as in understand is their growth. Even from hashing, they grow faster than AMS and they grow faster than the AA. And so, you know, some people want a quick turnover in this business. And so you will be advised to go for AMO because it grows faster it's uh it's attractive because of the size it grows super big all right and then the ams also grows big now the truth is this they all grow big the amo the ams the aa they all grow big at time t the difference is the growing timing but at the end of the day, they will all be as big as you want them to be. The only one that doesn't grow large is the AF. The AF have a limit that it doesn't grow like the other three. All right. So if you are going in into this business, you define which you want. The AMO, the AMS, the AA, they are all very okay. They are all doing well. The difference is you. The difference is all about you. Which are you good at? Which is your market? The AA are from Ghana, and that's why they are called the Ghana AA. The tiger African land snail. They have this tiger look. They have this tiger, tiger look. All right. Now, they have the ability of laying more eggs. They can lay up to five hundred eggs, four hundred, three hundred, two hundred, a hundred. And you know what that means? If this eggs all got hashed, let's say fifty percent hashed. The parents were so laying, they're going to be doing this like four times, five times in a year. If they do this in that year for a single snail, you know the numbers of babies and numbers of snails you'll be getting at the end of the day. But this also you should also note here that the Ghana snails are not, they, they don't do well in every country. And so the need, technical approach to survive outside their chores. That's why most times you don't just get the AA in every farm. Their own ways is different from the AA, the sorry, the AMO and the AMS. Now, the difference between the AFO and the AMS from my own um, experience is that the AMS lay more and they tend to survive more than the AMO. 
the AMO advantage is that they grow fast. They grow fast than the others. That's just the major difference I have studied. Growth fast. The AMS, they survive better than the AMO. The AA lays more. Where the AA are laying 200, 800, 200, 300, 400, 500, the AM are laying 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12. The max I have seen is 13. And so when you do the comparison, you want to go for the AA. But the truth is, going for the AA is not a bad option, but you need to know how to care for them. They need extra care. And the moment you hit it right, boom, the farm is up. Because you have a thousand of AA breeders giving you even 100, 100 eggs. Your babies are everywhere you will need space this will take us back to when i was talking about space if you watch the other video I, I spoke about space space is this business the bigger the space the more money you can make you can you can be using for instance this single pen to raise a thousand aa and you expect the thousand AA and their babies to be in this same pen. You need other spaces to accommodate them. And then when your babies are coming out, you need to take them off the parents' pen. The babies have to stay on their own pen. So the space must be put into consideration. If this makes sense to you, you can drop the comment below and we'll get right back.